Hello everyone, thank you again for coming to the New Talents of FBB YouTube channel. We are continuing our Olympia 2021 preview today. Um, we'll be looking at Natalia Soltero, who finished second in the 2020 figure Olympia. So before we take a look at her Instagram, another shout out for uh, your Olympia tickets. So the Mr. Olympia is returning to Orlando, Florida in October from the 7th to the 10th. Um, VIP packages have sold out, but individual tickets are still on sale. Expo passes are also available at an early bird discount. So the direct link to this page will be in the video description. Uh, click on there and get your tickets and discounted uh, room rates for the Olympia approved hotels as well. So yeah, give that a visit. It's the Mr. Olympia website and it's the ticketing section. Okay, so looking at the figure category, the 2020 uh, figure Olympia was won by Sydney Gillen. Um, uh, she finished ahead of Natalia Soltero in second, Nadia Wyatt in third, um, Nicole Zenobia Graham in fourth, and Latoya Watts in fifth. So if you uh, watched the fitness Olympia preview posted a couple of days ago. You'll have seen that there are only 12 competitors in that category. There's a lot more competitors in the figure in the figure category. It's a lot more competitive to qualify uh, for the figure Olympia. And as you can see, once you get down to 16th place, everyone else gets joint 16th. So a couple of competitors I wanted to uh, preview quickly is Nadia Wyatt, who came third in the 2020 Olympia. I thought she brought an awesome physique to the stage. Really great striated glutes, strong ripped up midsection, amazing lats and um, incredible, incredible delts as well. Love the shape of the delts that she brought to the stage. I thought she had a really solid posing routine and she really deserved to get into the top three. So I think she could push to win the figure category this year. Obviously she should be able to stay in that top three. The other one I wanted to look at actually was Anne De Jong. So she's a South Korean um, bodybuilder and she actually finished in seventh place in the 2020 Olympia. It was her debut in the figure category on the Olympia stage. Um, she's competed in her homeland and she's competed um, across the US as well, but it was her first time on the Olympia stage and I thought she did an incredible job. Um, really solid posing. Obviously her quads look amazing. And I don't know if you've um, seen her online on, on her Instagram or YouTube, but she just has the most incredible lats. Um, a lot of videos of her just kind of just expanding her lats. Um, that's kind of created quite a viral, viral sensation at times. So yeah, she's one to look out for. I think she could definitely push the top five, if not the top three. But my pick to win the figure Olympia this year is Natalia Soltero. I feel like she's going to go one better. She surprised people by sneaking into second place uh, last year. I don't think people uh, expected her to play so high, but once she actually stepped on the stage, I don't think there was any doubt that she deserved second place. She did come first in the Arnold um, in the same year, so she is well used to winning competitions. So if we take a little look down at her Instagram, um, she is Mexican. So there's quite a lot of um, great Mexican competitors coming up. Um, excuse the pronunciation, but I do like Sandra Grajalas and uh, Yossi Alicorn as well. Um, and there are a couple of others who I do follow as well. So you see um, on stage obviously brings a fantastic presence, really shredded physique, really, you can really see the definition of her delts with the triceps and everything. Great glute separation. Um, you can see the calf muscles as well. Um, I think one of the things that I actually really love is she has she makes great um, choices on the color of her suit as well. The suit always really complements her her skin tone, her her spray tan, um, and I think she just looks fantastic. The whole package she brings to the stage is really impressive. Awesome built back there. You can really see every muscle just there. She flexes. Fantastic thickness to her back as well. She really brings that that um, that enviable shape wide upper body of the shoulders into the tight waist um, and then the strong powerful quads 
She hasn't posted as frequently, um, perhaps as some of the other competitors. She doesn't necessarily document her, her prep, her journey to the stage, but she does post um, post some images along the way just to keep keep her fans in the loop. Obviously ecstatic with her competition placing. So you can see on the stage, um, so this is the top four from the 2020 Olympia with figure. You can see her in the middle there. Um, alongside Sydney Gillen just looking absolutely fantastic I think her abs really stand out there and just the size of her quads as well the muscle separation there you can see the glute separation um, obviously fantastic delts there as well looking awesome so yeah she's got some she's got some cool she's got some cool pictures up um, so definitely take a look at her Instagram give her a follow show your support um, and yeah, we wish her all the best for the 2021 Olympia when she will hit the stage in the figure category and she is my pick to win the division.